वेलकम टू गणेश जाधव ऑटोमेशन स्टूडियो गाइज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल जावा इलेवन वर्जन ऑन आर मशीन एंड हाउ टू सेट अप दी हाउ एक्जैक्टली वी नीड टू सेट अप दी एनवायरमेंट वेरिएबल सो अवर जावा वर्जन विल ट्रैक ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू इज इट जावा वर्जन इंस्टॉल ऑन माई मशीन और नॉट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी आई एम ओपनिंग माई सी एम डी okay i'm opening my command prompt over here and once i open my command prompt you can see i'm i'm typing the word i'm typing the command java hyphen hyphen version so this command will guide you this command will show you which java version is installed on your machine so here you can see java is not recognized as an internal or external version it means java is not installed in my machine so and even you can use the where is java command so with the help of this where is java command it, it is actually showing you the where is where is exactly your java is installed so it means with the help of these two commands we can we can guess and we can get an idea java version is not installed in my machine so for that guys what exactly we need to do uh, i just need to open this google.com and here i can search java version download so this is there are uh, official website which is name as oracle so you can go over there and you can find out the you can find out the multiple versions uh, which are available over there and you can download whatever you want but here i am going to i am i'm i'm using the another website which is name as tech spots so here this website i'm just clicking on this website and here you can see java sc jdk version is available so here i'm just click on this windows option so because this is my windows machine so uh, that is why i am that is why exactly uh, that is why i am using this uh, windows uh, win windows option so once i click on this windows option you can see uh, this 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 is automatically downloading is happening is it is downloading is automatically started over here you can see just just give me a minute and here you can see your jdk is automatically downloading is happening so this is how your down downloading is going on total 140 mb file we are having uh, so right now currently in the market total java 18 version is going on but uh, we are due to the compatibility issue we are always using the older version for our automation so so we here we are using the java 11 version Uh, and here you can see the java jdk 11 is properly installed on my machine okay i mean to say not installed it is properly downloaded on my machine so once it is downloaded i'm just opening the uh, my 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 machine okay i'm just closing these terms and i am just opening the here my download i'm going into the my download options okay on my machine and i can see this file is automatically install i mean to say download over here now i want to install one so how i can install i just need to double click on this uh, jdk.exe file so initially uh, in the java 8 or java 9 version we have getting the two folder so here you can see this is how exactly i, I will tell you later uh, after the installation what exactly happened so here i just click on this yes button and the preparation setup is going on now here i just need to click on the next button so this this will be the path so always be remember whenever we are whenever we are installing jdk in our machine so the path will be fixed so c drive uh, in the program files your java version will be installed and now once and now, and now you need to click on the next button once you click on the next button automatically installation is happening over here it will take few seconds only and after the yep, finally our java jdk 11 is jdk 11 version is properly installed in my machine now how now uh, how we can make sure ki is it properly installed or not so with the so we can just navigate that c drive and inside that c drive i am just going inside the program files folder and in this folder i can check java folder is created or not so here you can see java folder is created now once i enter in this java folder you can see jdk 11 uh, is 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 created over here now guys before java version 11 if you are take a, if you are taking an older version like java 8 java 9 java 10 so two folder is created over here jdk uh, 
JDK folder and JRE folder. These two folders created over here. But now, the, now these two folder now instead of two folder creation, only one folder is created, which is named as a JDK. Okay, and once I'm going inside in the JDK folder, you can see a lot of files are available. Okay, now I'm checking now after the installation is it still i'm able to see the java version if i'm i'm i'm, I'm typing this command java iphone iphone version still it is not recognized if i'm using the where where is java version this command i'm firing still you can see it is not finding out why it is not finding out because of i must need to set the environment variable system environment variable i must need to set so how i can set guys so so there is a multiple option so i can search over here like environment edit the system environment this is the first way okay edit the system environment this is the first way and second way you can directly right click on this pc and you can see uh, properties options you can see over here and you can directly uh, just a minute okay uh, and here you can directly search out the uh, environment variable so here where it is environment okay here you can see system variable always remember we wanted to set the system variable we we, we uh, so system variable so here i can directly select over here and here you can see environment variable is pop up is getting okay these two ways we are having so i just i just need to click on this environment variable and here you can see these are the user variable and this one is the system variable so always be remember we must need to set the system variable so here actually already set over here so i'm just deleting so system variable java home path i must need to set so our uh, programs will automatically detect so here i just need to click on the new variable and here i can use the java underscore home in the cap lock sorry uh, my, my bad so in the cap locks i must need to set java underscore home and i must need to set the path which path so here you can see this is path i must need to set okay i just need to open over here and just i need to click over here the path will automatically you can see over here and you just need to copy this path once you copy this part, the value you need to paste it over here. That's it. And once you paste it over here, you need to click on OK button. You can see Java underscore home path will be automatically created. Okay. And now once this is done, another variable which is already exists, which is named as a path. So once you install the Java, you just need to click on this edit button. And once you install the JDK Java on your machine, the path is automatically set over here. This path is automatically set over here okay uh, so this is how exactly we need to set this system variable for the java home okay once this is done now what exactly i need to do i am just opening the command prompt okay i'm just opening the command prompt and now i am searching the java version with java version installed on my machine so java space hyphen hyphen version this command i need to find out and you can see it is yeah here you can see java 11 version is 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 installed on my machine and if i'm firing java where is java command you can see that path is also it is showing up this is your java version is uh, it, it is located so it means your java is successfully installed on on your machine okay uh, this is what exactly i wanted to tell you uh, and this is how exactly we are installing java on our on our machine Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.